Hello and welcome to today's Photo Minute by The Photo Classroom. My name is Brian Osborne and I'm so thankful that you're uh, joining us again today for another a segment of this um, daily session that we've been uh, doing. Uh, today I just want to talk about the, the importance of practicing photography. Um, it's like anything else that if we don't uh, really give some effort to it, uh, sometimes it can be very difficult to become really better at uh, this thing that we do enjoy, which is uh, called photography. Um, many of you may not know this, but I actually uh, keep track of how many images roughly that I shoot uh, every month and every year. I've done that for multiple years. Uh, over the last five or six years, my average has been about 120,000 a year. I'm very fortunate. I get a chance to uh, take pictures of lots of different things. It can be travel. It can be uh, time with our students. It uh, can also be a lot of sporting events. It's also a lot of paid jobs that we are uh, able to do for our varying clients. And so uh, the average month for me is around 10,000. A slow month, if I don't get a chance to do a lot of photography, it is usually around 5,000. And so when I went, in, went to add up the numbers for March last night, I was really shocked to find out that uh, in the month of March, the month that had been so many cancellations, uh, trips that had been canceled, sporting events that I was looking forward to taking pictures of that were canceled, travel that was canceled, uh, just so many different things, uh, client shoots that have been canceled as well. Um, that uh, even in the midst of all these things that I had planned to be doing photography of in the month of March, um, while those didn't happen, uh, I had actually taken about 13,000 pictures. Uh, and I was um, kind of surprised by that, but also uh, it started to kind of uh, uh, tell me that, uh, wow, during this time where we have not had all the outside opportunities that we thought we'd have, um, I had plenty of opportunities uh, around my home and uh, in the backyard, as well as even uh, walks in nature and on the greenway. Um, it's amazing the things that I've started observing that I had ne never noticed before and uh, seeing both uh, my images and images that have been being uh, shared by many of you that we're able to find even though we're kind of uh, uh, located to a very small uh, area right now during this um, pandemic season. And so uh, it really got me thinking that uh, April would, might, might be a great month for us to really um, just refocus our attention on growing, learning, and uh, being able to practice uh, photography. And uh, certainly that's uh, the uh, purpose of this broadcast and of, this, of these sessions that we've been offering. We're going to continue to offer those with different tips and tricks and ideas and uh, different uh, uh, challenges for us to maybe go out and photograph. But uh, beyond that, so think about editing that you may want to be doing and catching up on some compost processing that uh, got backlogged. I know it has for me as well. Uh, maybe the chance to learn more about your actual camera and read the instruction manual, learn about some features. Uh, we'll be covering many of these different things, but I just really was struck by the fact that for uh, really all of us, um, April 2020 is going to be a um, highly unique month. Uh, it'll be a month that we will never forget. And uh, while there's a lot of unfortunate things going on in our world and in our lives right now, um, it may be an opportunity for many of us to have even more time to practice and to learn and to work on photography. And let's not forget that photography for all of us is usually a great stress reliever. It's something that we really enjoy for most of us in our daily lives. Photography is something that we don't get enough time to do, even though we really enjoy it. And so uh, I just really want to challenge all of us or suggest to all of us that we uh, use the um, the month ahead to uh, really be working on our skills, working on growing, working on doing photography and enjoying the different aspects of photography that many of us have come to love. I'm going to be uh, continuing to do these uh, sessions to help us along the way. I've got plenty of ideas for uh, the coming days and the coming weeks uh, to uh, that hopefully will be helpful to you as well. But I just wanted to use this segment to remind us about uh, how important it is to practice anything that we want to become good at. And in the case of photography, it really does take uh, a lot of time and effort sometimes to really become great at this thing called photography, to be able to capture the images that mean the most to us. So let's um, make it our goal to really use this month as much as we can as we start off on day number one uh, to uh, make the month of April a great month for us to do 
of photography and to learn more and to grow more in this thing that we enjoy. Hey, thank you. You can continue to follow along. Um, please continue to leave uh, comments and feedback and especially the encouragement that you've been doing on our YouTube channel and or on our Facebook page. And uh, this has uh, been a great time together. It's going to continue to be. Thank you for joining me for today's Photo Minute. I'm Brian Osborne at the Photo Classroom. Have a great day.